What's up guys, I'm looking for more light. Let's get started. What's up guys, in the first video of 2014 where I displayed the new intro for the channel, uh, where I actually got in front of the camera for the first time, um, I noticed that the lighting wasn't super, at least it wasn't great in my opinion. Uh, I was working on another project where I stood in front of the camera to do another intro and noticed that it was just terrible. So I did some searching on YouTube and I ended up finding a pretty cool project uh, over at Indie Mogul uh, from about a year ago. And uh, I decided that I wanted to build that light to add to my little collection here so that the videos that I make for you guys um, are a little bit better quality than, uh, than not, I guess. So in this video, I'm going to show you how uh, to make the light, uh, which again is a copy of that Indie Mogul. Uh, project and I'll leave links in the description below so you can check out um, that project uh, and see where I got the idea from. All right, I'm upstairs now so I can show you the parts that we're going to need for the project. Uh, first, we need a plain white kitchen tub. So you need one of these guys because this is actually going to hold all the lights. You obviously need lights. So for this guy, we're actually going to be making uh, uh, enough sockets for eight of these. These are just daylight rated um, CFL bulbs and I got eight of them. You need sockets to plug those into. So I've got these splitters here and these wired sockets here. So uh, this will get wired in. These will mount in here like that. And then you got one light going that way and the other going the other way. So we've got four of those and four splitters. So we need some electrical stuff to help us out. So we've got a cable, a switch, and uh, some other goodies here. So this is just a six foot uh, replacement cord for uh, like an appliance. So it's got the three pong on the one side and then your three cables, uh, wires on the inside. That is gonna mount through that white, or through the case that the wires are gonna be plugged into via this grommet. And then this has a little cinch right here that you can tighten down and that'll keep this from pulling out. Need a switch to be able to turn the lights on and off. And we've got some extra wire and some wire nuts to uh, help make the job a little bit easier. This is a flagpole holder. So this is actually gonna mount on the bottom of that white tub and let us make adjustments to the light, which is gonna be uh, handy. Uh, and then this will just mount into a standard um, standard pole or a light stand or something like that. And then there's this little knob over here that will uh, let us tighten it down so that it won't come off. So actually, there you go. And we've got this guy here. So this is a covered uh, cake pan. Um, I don't know what the size is. I think it's a 12 by 9, something like that. Um, this is where all of the wiring is going to go and this cover is going to be nice because it'll keep uh, hands out of the cabling once everything's all done. There are a couple other things that we're going to need um, that I don't have on me at the moment. I'll just show you them when we get to that part of the project. So first thing I've done is taken the cake pan and I drew a line uh, right down the middle as best as I could. And then I spaced the sockets uh, evenly apart, again, as best as I could, about two inches apart. Uh, I basically just want to keep this centered as best as I can. Uh, and now I can go ahead and trace around each one of these so that I can uh, then know where to drill the holes so that these can go through. Okay, so after a few minutes out in the garage cutting the holes, uh, that's what it looks like. And these will fit in this way, like that. So these will fit in nice and tight. Uh, and then we can uh, do all of the wiring here in the back. So that cover comes in handy. Uh, once all those are in there, then we can close it like that, and then we're all set. I moved down to the basement because it's the evening now, and uh, I lost all that good light from when I was upstairs. Uh, next up here, uh, you do see that the uh, socket uh, is pushed through the hole here. Uh, in the Indie Mogul video, they had uh, caulking uh, around here uh, that they use for like glue to keep these from pulling out. I'm going to be using these little hose clamps that I found at Harbor Freight. Um, uh, I think it's a little bit cleaner, 
Um, I just didn't like the idea of having all that caulk just kind of gooped around in there. And I'm not quite sure if the caulk would really stick to this uh, material because this is like a non-stick coating. I don't know how non-stick it is. So uh, the hose clamp will work just fine. Um, so I think that's what we're going to do. Need to worry about a few more holes uh, in the cake pan before we actually uh, can mount it. So you definitely need some screw holes to mount this over to that white kitchen tub that I showed you before. I'm going to do six total, so three above and three below. And I just eyeballed those. I didn't really measure them out. Uh, so I just try to make them as even as possible. Uh, I will have a hole here on the side for this switch. Um, and I put it here on the side because on the bottom is where I'm going to put this grommet for where the uh, power cable is going to come through. Um, I also have an old cabinet handle that uh, we're not using. I got this who knows when. Uh, I haven't yet decided if I'm going to mount a handle on this thing. I think um, the handles on the side here might be good enough to uh, move this around and I'm probably not going to be doing a lot of moving it around. So. Uh, you know, who knows if I'm going to need that handle or not. I will be using one of these little step down bits. Um, it will make it a lot cleaner. So I can drill a little hole and then just step this down and that will make the, um, the cut fairly neat. Okay, I have all the holes uh, done in the cake pan. And these are all scratched up here because uh, I fouled these down so I could have nice clean edges. Uh, I did happen to cut my finger on a metal shaving on one of these smaller holes. Uh, when I asked my daughters to bring me a band-aid, they got me a Disney Princess one, so that's okay. Um, so I did use this uh, on top of the uh, kitchen tub to use as a template. And uh, I will be drilling these holes out, of course, for mounting. And then cutting this section out here uh, to expose the bottom of the cake pan for the lights. I will also, on this pan, have to... Uh, mark the holes for the uh, flagpole holder. Uh, so I'll do that next and then I'll get all this cut out and I'll show you what that looks like. Here's what we've got. Drilled out the holes and cut out the space for the lights. And when this is flipped over, what we end up with is something that looks kind of like that. So I will be holding this together with uh, some screws and nuts. Uh, and I still need to drill the holes for the flagpole holder, uh, but it's coming along nicely. Here's what the underside looks like with the sockets uh, installed. And I do have the hose clamps in place, and these will prevent them from pulling out, but they don't really do much about them rotating because there's some play there. Actually, there's a lot of play. Uh, so I will go in and apply some adhesive around here uh, to keep them from turning. It's the next day here. I actually had to let this uh, caulking dry overnight. Um, and it's not as neat as I would have liked it to be, but that's okay. Um, it actually is doing the trick. I probably could have not um, or gotten away with not using these uh, clamps here. Uh, but whatever, it's fine. Uh, they for sure are not going to pull through, which is you know, ultimately what I care about. Um, you know, for these kind of projects, I, I like to be as neat as I can. Uh, and like to be as organized as I can and one thing that um, is more of a function of making sure that the other side is lined up properly uh, is that these sockets aren't all the same way so you'll notice these are uh, on an angle this one is uh, sort of horizontal and this is vertical here not a huge deal um, but you know on the other side all of the sockets are lined up the way that they should be and that's why that's like that um, so uh, next thing to do is actually to get these wired up. So, um, you know, electrical work is, you know, dangerous. Uh, it can be really dangerous. So make sure you know what you're doing uh, before you even attempt to do this. Here's everything wired up. Uh, I wanted to take a little time to make sure this is done right because if it's wrong, you can have uh, a serious problem on your hands, especially when you're dealing with electricity. So make sure that you know what you're doing. Um, so here's how it all comes together. The uh, wire comes in, plug wire from the wall. Uh, this cable is split into three lines. So there's your green ground, which is connected to the pan at this screw. Uh, that screw right there. The uh, hot wire comes through here. So that live wire comes into the first part of the switch. Then out of the switch via this second cable, and then all of the hot lines uh, on the sockets are joined together via these uh, cables here. On the other side, these neutral lines are connected together in the same way. 
and then they all connect up and go through the neutral line at the end of this switch. A couple of things, uh, take a look at the uh, documentation that comes with your um, power plug. So mine actually came with a pretty um, little diagram so I knew which was the neutral line and which was the hot line because they're not labeled. Um, and then uh, test it and everything works the way that it should. So I will have to go in and put some electrical tape around all these connections uh, and then put the top on. I don't think I need to add any holes over here because this cover snaps on pretty securely. Uh, so you can see underneath I've got the connectors covered with electrical tape just to be even more safe and then these fold down really nicely and then held in place with this cover. Uh, underneath of course is the flagpole holder and when I was testing this this fits over an old light stand that I had for some uh, work lights. I just took the work lights off and then just put this on top and it works really well. Uh, you've got the adjuster here to change the pitch of the light and of course the power plug and if I turn this over you can see uh, the lights here and this works really well. Uh, it's a really cool project and I'm glad that I did it uh, because it's something that I needed for the channel here. Uh, the uh, lights fit uh, pretty good underneath here and uh, if you wanted to add uh, some filters or paper to soften the light or whatever um, they fit right over. You can hold them with uh, clothes pins or clips or something and it works nicely. Uh, the Indie Mogul project had these uh, like louvers I think is what you would call them. Um, made out of like a plastic uh, lawn sign. Uh, I did buy one, I just haven't done it because I don't know that I need it for right now. If I do, I can do that later, not a big deal. Um, overall, uh, like I said, I'm really happy with the way this turned out. Uh, I won't turn the lights on because it, it'll blow out the camera, um, uh, the lights on the camera, but uh, you know, trust me, it works fantastic, so I'm happy that I did it. I'm always on the lookout for ways to make my videos better. Uh, to make them look better, to make them sound better, and this project, uh, this particular light, I think is going to help me out a ton in, in doing that. Um, I will leave links in the description below to the original Indie Mogul project, as well as all of the parts that I bought for, uh, for this build. You're also going to find links everywhere else that I'm at, so follow me there for uh, updates on when new videos are posted. And uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you're new to the channel, uh, I hope you stick around. Uh, you'll uh, get more videos like this and just other random things. Uh, so, uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.